Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Well, made it out here to the shop, believe it or not. Monday we had five inches of snow on the ground everywhere. And here it is Friday. And it's all melted. Look at this. It's 60 degrees out here. Believe that? Crazy. Anyway, so I come out the shop and uh, I decided to try to make a little wiggle room in the in the garage here. So I'm gonna show you what I've done. Of course, you can see I pulled everything out, I pulled the, both motorcycles and the scooter out, and a bunch of other junk and crap. And I got this cabinet which was sitting right in front of this cabinet, right out in the middle of the walkway there, clogging things up. Moved all that crap and pushed that back up against the wall. And I got a mountain bike back there, so it's hard to go any further with that stuff. There's another mountain bike for, for her back in behind all that crap. <laughs> but anyway, I've got myself a little room, you can see. So that's good, that's a start. Let's start to pull the motorcycles out before I have any room. And it's just ridiculous. It makes me crazy. It makes me not want to do anything until I get room, you know? So, that's what I've been up to. And uh, I was just looking at the scooter there, contemplating some of the things I want to do to it. And it pretty much looks like I'm gonna have to strip it back down. And, uh, rethink a bunch of things possibly chop it up and rebuild it I don't know <clears throat> I have another project I want to do too plus I got the Kawasaki and the Yamaha waiting and uh, I'm overwhelmed I'm just in too deep uh, <laughs> so I don't know where to begin I kind of want to fire the scooter up and just butt with it but I, I could tell that the front forks are uh, loose let me show you that <laughs> meant to pause it. Alright, if you look down at the triple trees, right down in here, which is minor, it just needs tightened up. And, uh, back here in the back, I want to put a torque converter on there. You all saw that I got one. And uh, I know they have a downward slope to them just because the way they mount on the motor and the way that rear shaft sticks out. And everybody says they got to file it off so it doesn't hit this drain plug. And which means it's going to be headed down, so it means I got to raise the motor up. And. Uh, and then the alignment for the chain, I don't even know if that'll be on. Which I made that plate with the holes drilled. There's no slots for movability. I'm just going to have to work with the whole thing and sort it all out. But anyway, I'm just contemplating things today. This has been the first nice day where I could get out here and do some stuff. and So I decided to make some room and give some things some thought. For those of you that have never actually seen the surfboard on this thing I, I it appears to me that I failed to ever show this when you're sitting on it and look down this is pretty much what you see and it's particle board because I just you know it's like a rough draft on this first design let's see if I can zoom in there so you can see this logo that I put on there But you can see all the layers of particle board showing through. So I want to redo that. And uh, anyway, I'm thinking about putting a coat of Bondo or fiberglass gel on it and smoothing it all out. And then you won't be able to see those. And uh, then repaint it and redo it. What else we got? So we got the possum trap that I built, 
You may remember the possum trapping experience I had a while back. I need to take that all apart and break it down. Apparently we got them all and we haven't any problem with that. So I guess I can disassemble that and fold that thing back up and put it away. Got this pressure washer and this old bicycle that somebody gave me. I thought I might be able to use a little bit of parts off of it, but now it's just being more of a pain in my rear end than I think it's worth. I hate to throw anything away though. So I'm trying to think of a place to stash it up in here until I get ready to chop it up and do something with it. I do have some ideas for some of the parts there, but uh, that's for another day. I just need to find a place to put it out of my way for now. So I guess I'll start with taking that trap away, you know, apart and put it away. But anyway, just trying to give you an idea of what's going on around here. And uh, I know it's not much, but uh, all that sun is blinding me. Uh, so, I don't know. When I get something substantial, I'll show you. Thanks for tuning in. All right. All right. So, I got done messing with the garage and decided to work on the scooter a little bit and uh, whenever I ride it I get this chunky clacky sounds like the chain is jumping teeth on the sprocket type sound and it's really annoying because when I'm riding it I can't look back there and see what it is and uh, I just trial and error try different things I've been messing with this ever since I built this thing and I remembered last summer that I would have to oil up that clutch that centrifugal clutch and so I rode it a little bit you know I tightened up that triple trees and stuff and I rode it a little bit and sure enough it was making that clunky noise and stuff so I come back and I fiddle with the brakes and let me show you what I did there well, now I got you down there where you can see flip the saddlebag up and you can kind of see in there, I'll zoom in on it a little bit. And uh, I noticed that there's a bracket that goes across this band brake to keep it from sliding off of the actual drum. Well, it's right behind this. So I moved this downwards to where it was below that, which brought that thing up here. But when I did it, this is designed to stop the brake from spinning around and this, it, with it being down here, it did spin around and it chewed up my cable on the tire a little bit. But so I moved it back up and I uh, tried it again and it still did it. So I went to the other side and got inside the centrifugal clutch here. I took that all apart and re I just put 90 weight oil on the inside of that bushing that's inside there and put it back together. And I just went for a little ride and it was smooth as could be. That's why I want to put a torque converter on there because it's a big pain in the butt to have to loosen the back tire, loosen the chain, get the clutch off, take it all apart. And it seems like I have to do that every time I ride it. This is a Hilliard Extreme Duty clutch. You've seen them for sale probably if you've ever looked for one. And I remember having a mini bike that I built years ago and all the time I ever had it, I never had to service that clutch. I don't understand why this one is being so wanting for attention. But anyway, that torque converter is going to eliminate that problem. I'm just going to have to sort out all the bugs i got to do to that. And, uh, man, that thing just runs sweet. Other than that, i got to put some air in the tires. They've been sitting all winter and they're a little bit low. But, uh, yeah. And it doesn't run completely true. That band brake floats back and forth like that because if you remember right, when I built this thing, for those of you who knew, who know, this is a uh, wheelbarrow tire, and I welded the brackets on there. See how it gets free. It gets snug. And I just haven't mastered how to get that adjusted just right, so it doesn't do that. And it's because it's not, you know, it's not true. So that's one of the bugs. And you, Dizzy, sent me those wheels from that Baja scooter or mini bike. 
just for the sole purpose of putting them on here because we were talking about that particular issue and I'm reluctant to want to do that just because I have another project in mind for those and uh, yeah it's gonna be awesome and uh, in order to put those on here I'm gonna chop the whole back end off and make it wider because this is a four inch tire those are seven inches wide so I'd have to cut the back end completely off been extended out and the same thing with the front end and if you look at how elaborate that front end is I would just have to rebuild the whole thing and uh, that front end works good on this and I really and I don't want to do that I'm gonna see if I can't find like a uh, what is it the uh, the old mini bike rup or Speedway something like that that has like a 14 inch tall 14 or 15 inch tall tire wheel assembly that I can replace this back end with so I know it's true this wheel barrel thing with the welded on implements and stuff it's just it's not center dry so it doesn't work good and uh, see if I can't do something like that and then this other project I got in mind is gonna be smoking on its own um, but yeah so I can ride it like that it just it's just not right you know it needs needs some fine-tuning so uh, yeah since I'm gonna have to make a whole new front end for this other project I just soon just build one not two uh, since I already built that one and it works good on this and this thing's kind of a classic coca-cola type kind of deal you know it's like Everything goes better with Coke, right? So, I don't know where that came from. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling. Uh, I got the new jets for this I want to try. I got new valve springs for this I want to try. And I got that new high performance spark plug for this I want to try. But, uh, I don't know if I even need to do that stuff. This motor runs good, just like it is. It seemed like a good idea when I bought that stuff, but I don't know. Got those jets and stuff. Check this out. Watch it make a fool of me. Hard to beat, <laughs> huh? That's just hard to beat. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you watching my videos and liking them and commenting on them. I really like reading those comments and staying in touch with all you guys. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for today. I'm gonna give this some thought. Maybe get out that torque converter, see what it's going to take to get that hooked up. And uh, I think those engine modifications are going to have to wait. But yes, yeah, that clutch is giving me the trouble, so the torque converter is going to take care of that. And it's going to be awesome. Alright, I'll see y'all. Take care. Yeah, look at that. I got both motorcycles in there and the scooter. I still got room to move around. That's amazing, isn't it?